people. Aliens are real. Pop, 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 pop. I got pictures like this. Yeah. How many aliens have you photographed in your time? I have, I have over 200,000 pictures. 200,000? Yeah. Pop, 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 pop. UFO, alien seeker man with the goods. I call this the, the king. I call this one Scully the pirate. It says the fifth dimension. Five with it kind of like a D. I don't get stars. I don't think there's stars out there. They are star ships and star gates. This little camera takes all these pictures. So what do you think the sun is? Because that's a star too. I think it's a portal. They talk about the matrix. The moon's a ship. As it comes apart, it makes our stars around them, whatever we're on. Now, if you were an alien, where would you hide? A star behind it. Behind the stars. The flash. It's like a hologram. <laughs> Have you ever gotten to talk to one of these things and ask, hey, what the hell is going on? That's why I get my pictures. Do you feel like maybe you've been chosen? I don't know. God damn it. Now I'm getting a headache. Now my head's, now my head's going hard. It's like they don't want me to answer sometimes. My hair is standing straight up almost. It's all in my body right now. I'd be excited if I were you, man. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, it is, but yeah. sometimes it's emotional. I don't think they want me to talk right now. It's all good. This is what happens to me. How did Hawaii get to the middle of the ocean? Mark Zuckerberg, Google Analytics. Where is the data going? Is Anderson Cooper Alex Jones in a skin suit? He looks kind of weird. Pope Francis, why is he so fucking nice? Was the Apollo 11 mission ran on a rocket engine or was it ran on crystals? Is or was Hillary Clinton a reptilian shapeshifter or a Naki lizard person? You know what's crazy to me? Is that we don't know a fucking thing about what is going on. What the fuck is going on? And that's the thing is we don't know. Tell us about the origin of man. The idea is that there is a race of reptilians. The name of their planet is Rizik, R-I-Z-Q. They created us in a laboratory using their DNA, platypus DNA. And their homeworld was having some problems by the king who had like exploded nuclear bombs in, a vol in some volcanoes or something. If they came here, they landed, set up their spaceport under the guidance of Lord Enki. They're known as the Lulu in Sumeria. They're reptilian with big eyes and they had opposable thumbs, pointed ears, also very psycho kinetic Jedi powers and stuff. They create this new female who's got thicker lips, tits, ass thighs. She's just a more voluptuous human female. Eve's first baby, Cain. The word Cain literally means hybrid child. That all these races in The Hobbit are actually lost hybrid history. It's like, how can we all be so different? Since you're tall, you know, you've got the giant bloodlines in you. These are all different Science experiments, the Chinese race, they claim their ancestry from dragons. I really feel like Jimi Hendrix and Bruce Lee had a hand in all of this from the other side. They're like my ascended Jedi masters. <laughs> Maybe they are alive through me. Obi-Wan died. He was stronger. Excuse me for being so emotional, but it's, it's real shit. What the hell is going on? So what do you think about the reptilian theory? Well, it's definitely not a theory. They are real. One of them killed my cat. Still dealing with that. It's not anything to play with. You might find it very fascinating, but it is not a joke. <laughs> so they want to keep planet Earth. They want to keep us at a lower dimension, lower vibration. And I feel really weird energies right now. So there's something there's something around us that's listening to us. There's heavily, there's a lot of Illuminati here. So you said you are one-eighth reptilian, right? One-eighth reptilian, yes. Everybody has some sort of reptilian in them. I know this sounds silly, but I have like a sixth six sense for it. Have you heard of the hypnotic code? It's um, like a simple phrase, I'm breaking the code of disillusionment. I choose to see what's before me. If you say that three times and get your mind in the right frame, you'll be able to see reptilians as well. Can you see their eyes shift? Mm -hmm. Slits, the eye slants, they're uh, very telepathic. Typically, they're up to mind control. Think I have any in me? I can't tell you that, but you must have something in you because I'm shaky, so. All these fools we're looking at here, they believe in aliens. Let's talk to this guy real quick. How you doing, sir? Is that a reptilian shapeshifter tattoo? That tattoo? Oh, okay. He could also be an alien. Remember, if we're Martians, and we're also from the fifth green planet, we actually have the DNA and stuff in us. Because the extraterrestrials aren't gods, so they brought the moon with them when they had to resettle planet Earth, heat up the Earth for six days, put a nuclear motor in it, start all over. We, we deal with them living in Antarctica and in the oceans as we live and go today. What do these aliens look like? How can we spot them? Like you yourself. Who's to say that you're not? Not what? An alien. I could have been once, let's say a lizard. When I lay down at night and I transcend myself into the Akashic Record, that's when I get in touch with an entity that tells me I'm supposed to create a new thing, which is totally new, which y'all never heard of, called Space Wire. And what this is, is it enables us to make a periodic table 
of space waves, space command and space weapons. And if I can control it, then we can put anything inside and make it safe. Connecting the dots in our universe. Too many questions and no answers. If the moon is aluminum, what could it have ever been used for? You ever seen a UFO? Yeah, I think that's a lot on ancient aliens. In school they teach that uh, humans evolved from primates and apes. What do you think about but that? If, if uh, that's the case, why aren't we changing now? You know, I feel like it was manipulated somehow. How long we've been here, thousands of years on this planet, look what's happened in the last 60 years. We've gone from horse in a carriage to landing on the moon and had to be somebody up above. Yeah. They, they abduct a, a handful of people, take them wherever up to their starship, put a GPS in them, track them. Bunch of abductees, they all say they got some kind of piece of metal in them. The new generation comes out, they're smarter, then they go into the next step and it just it keeps on going. They, they came down here and did their thing and they took their tools with them.